Okay, I think it's time to do a garden check-in. Let's see how everything's going at this point. So we've had everything planted for, I don't know, probably a month and a half now would be a conservative guess. As you can see, this bed that we just broadcast seed in is doing really good. We've got Swiss chard grown. We've got some red lettuce. This is um, arugula. We have some kale coming up here. These are the garlic chives that I planted. Trimmed them back and you see they're coming out really well. We have our mint plant over here. It's doing okay. Cilantro coming up all in the garden. Lots of cilantro. See some yellow lettuce. And this whole bed right here is just full of lettuce. Got an onion that's planted here. It's doing good. It's a hot sunny day today. It was cold this morning, but the sun's out. You see everything's getting a little wilty because of the, the heat of the day. Let's move on down to this part of the bed. What we got here, we got garlic. We got chives, like onion chives. We have parsley and rosemary. I pulled that aloe vera out of the aloe vera bed back there. But it was already acting kind of weird. I don't think there's any life left in it. It's just basically decomposing. So we'll probably have to transplant some aloe vera whenever we get some pups back there in that bed. All right, let's go check out the other bed. So here is broccoli and cauliflower. So everything from this row down is broccoli. These six plants are cauliflower. So you see the cauliflower is still a little stunted, but the broccoli, for the most part, is really starting to come along. This one broccoli in the corner, I don't know why the corner broccoli has always seemed to lag behind a little bit, but overall, this bed is doing really well. Here's a bed of cauliflower plants. There's also some garlic and shallots planted in here. You can see everything's coming up really nice, doing really good. See the shallots coming up out of the ground there. Let's keep on keeping on. And there's Ezekiel playing on the dirt pile. And here is another bed. This is the aloe vera bed. So we only had three, I think. One, two, you know, there's three there and one there. We had four aloe vera plants, so we had a lot of space in this bed. So I went ahead and planted some more herbs in here. Not real sure. This is some kind of Asian green. You can see it's doing really good. I need, probably need to trim it back. And then we got that red veined leaf there. I think that's sorrel. Yeah, that's sorrel. And this is purple sage here. And then we have some onions, probably shallots that I planted in there coming up. Again, this bed's doing really good. Don't know if we have any pups yet. I'm gonna have to separate these guys. I'm gonna wait till the spring to do it. Separate these three aloe veras, and then hopefully we'll get some pups. So now we're in the main garden area. You can see my garlic patch doing really good I've been keeping it cultivated between the rows a little bit to try to keep the weeds down and not uh, choke out the garlic I need to actually cultivate this I may have time tomorrow if it's a little bit drier then I'll get in here and I'll cultivate all these weeds down everything pulled back a little bit from the garlic it's doing really good and over here Brussels sprouts are coming right along. Hopefully we'll get some Brussels sprouts. I've never successfully grown for Brussels sprouts to get any fruit. And then you can see all the greens, all the baby lettuces. Greens growing all out there. See red lettuces and green lettuces and all kinds of stuff. We do have a lot of weeds coming up. So hopefully the vegetable plants will win the race and get up high enough and not get choked out some onions coming up here where I planted some onion bulbs. I worry that I planted them a little bit too deep, but some of them are breaking through. So we'll 
we'll just keep an eye on that. And then here, of course, is all the onions that I planted in the other video, going all the way around. Here's Catherine's flowers she planted. They're all still hanging in there. Hasn't gotten too cold to kill them off yet. And we had a rogue onion we found laying on the ground that had sprouted, so we went ahead and planted it there. Pretty cool, huh? And here, last but not least, are our chili patin plants. These are the native pepper plants that grow here. You see we got a few that are mature, ready to eat. Those things are hot as fire. There's a big one right there. So that hasn't gotten so cold that it's killed those plants back in here. This one has got quite a few peppers on it. Right there you go. All right. One more bed. Let's go take a look at one more bed before we finish up this video. Okay, last but not least, this is my asparagus bed. So I've already trimmed this back once this fall, thinking that it would be dormant for the winter, but because we you know, tend to have warmer winters here where I live, it sent up more ferns. So I was gonna cut it back again today and fill this bed in with dirt, to kind of top it off. I got to looking and my ferns are just covered in seed pods. Check that out, if you can see them. So what I'm gonna do, look at all these seed pods. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit, go ahead and let these seeds mature if they will. I mean, it may get too cold, they may not mature in the, the cold weather. But I'm just gonna leave it alone, let the seed pods mature, perhaps harvest a few seeds, just get, you know, take a stab at it. And, and then I'll finish preparing this bed for the winter. Anyway, so that's the, uh, the garden update. That's how everything's doing at this point after about six weeks or so, maybe two months already. I have to go back and look at the calendar whenever I planted everything. But I think everything's doing really good. We've been getting lots of rain, so that definitely helps. And then we have these warmer days that's probably in the high 60s today. Lots of sunshine, and everything just loves that. Um, I don't have any plans to plant anything else. I may do another bed of greens after the first of the year, like one of these beds. Oh, sorry, I was blocking the camera there. Like I've got a bed here that's just dormant. Um, I may plant some greens in here just to try to keep the greens going through the spring. But really in January, probably towards the end of the month, I'm going to start sowing seed in cups for tomatoes and peppers, eggplants. So that way, you know, after our March freeze, I can just get everything put out and hopefully have a really good spring garden before we take off on our next big camping trip in the summer. All right. Leave me some comments. Subscribe if you want to support us. You want to you enjoy our content. If you want to help us kind of develop the channel and you know do more stuff with it. We always appreciate your help and all the likes that we can get. Even you guys that consistently watch our videos, we thank you. But if you'll hit that like button, it'll definitely help. Um, it helps the algorithm and it'll give more people opportunities to enjoy our content. All right, we'll see you guys in the garden. Hope you guys planted your winter gardens.